The Death and Life of Sylvia Plath by Ronald Heyman is a comprehensive and well-researched biography of one of the most famous poets of the 20th century. The book explores the life, work, and death of Sylvia Plath, delving into her childhood, her relationships, her struggles with mental illness, and her literary legacy. The biography begins by tracing Plath's early life, growing up in Massachusetts as the daughter of a German immigrant father and a mother with a passion for literature. Heyman details Plath's early interest in writing her impressive academic achievements, including a scholarship to Smith College, where she studied under the renowned poet W. H. Auden. However, despite her successes, Plath's life was not without its challenges, including the death of her father when she was just eight years old and a lifelong struggle with depression. The heart of the book focuses on Plath's relationship with fellow poet Ted Hughes, whom she met while studying in Cambridge. Heyman paints a complex picture of the couple's intense and often turbulent relationship, which ultimately ended with Plath's suicide in 1963. The biography explores the dynamics of their marriage, including Hughes's infidelity, Plath's jealousy and insecurity, and their shared passion for writing. Throughout the book, Heyman pays close attention to Plath's writing, examining the themes, imagery, and symbolism that make her poetry so powerful. He also considers the critical reception of Plath's work, both during her lifetime and in the years since her death, and explores the ways in which her writing has been shaped by her personal experiences and struggles. One of the strengths of the book is Heyman's use of primary sources, including Plath's journals, letters, and unpublished poems. He also draws on interviews with family members, friends, and colleagues, as well as on critical scholarship and biographical accounts. This rich array of material allows Heyman to provide a nuanced and detailed portrait of Plath's life and work, while also placing her in the context of her times. At the same time, Heyman does not shy away from the difficult aspects of Plath's life, including her struggles with mental illness and the circumstances of her death. He also considers the ways in which her legacy has been shaped by factors beyond her control, including the publication of her posthumous collection Ariel and the controversies surrounding her relationship with Hughes. Overall, The Death and Life of Sylvia Plath is a thoughtful and insightful biography of a complex and fascinating figure. While it is not always an easy read, Given the difficult subject matter, Heyman's writing is clear and engaging, and his deep knowledge of Plath's life and work shines through on every page. Whether you are a fan of Plath's poetry or simply interested in the life of one of the most celebrated writers of the 20th century, this book is well worth a read.